Hello and welcome back to another video on the Auto.YouTube YouTube channel. My name is George and today we're going to be talking all about head gaskets. We're going to be talking about the common causes for failure and we're going to show you exactly how you can check to see if your head gasket has in fact failed. Now then, before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all of the latest videos. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay then, so in front of us right here we have a diesel engine. Now whether or not you have a diesel or a gasoline engine, the idea of a head gasket is still the same. It's essentially to provide a nice tight seal between the cylinder head and the cylinder block and it's to prevent the coolant and the engine oil from mixing. Now when it comes to the failure of the head gasket there is a few reasons why the head gasket may fail. The most common cause though is from the engine overheating. Now whether or not that is because you have low coolant so maybe your coolant isn't up to the correct level or maybe you have driven the car particularly hard and you just haven't let it cool down properly or perhaps you have a problem with your radiator maybe your fan isn't kicking in when you are in stop start traffic not a problem a vast range of car parts at low prices are with me at any time buying via the autodoc app is always cheaper so when it comes to preventing head gasket failure, you really do need to keep on top of your cooling system. You need to make sure that you've got the correct level and the correct specification of coolant in your engine and just to make sure that it is running at its correct coolant temperature and oil temperature as well. Oil temperature is often overlooked. If the oil temperature reaches too high, that can obviously cause the engine to overheat as well. Now then, when it comes to diagnosing whether or not you have a head gasket failure, there is a few different ways you can check. So for instance, you can have a physical oil leak between the cylinder head and the cylinder block. If we take a look down here, this is the cylinder head. This is the cylinder block. This is the head gasket right here. If you see oil coming from this gasket here, if you see oil coming from the head gasket, that is the indicator that the head gasket itself has failed. Another way that will show if your head gasket has failed is if you see oil in your coolant. So if you go ahead and open up the coolant reservoir cap, you may see some traces of oil in your coolant. That will obviously mean they have mixed and it may indicate that you have a head gasket failure. And another way that your coolant and oil can mix is if you notice coolant in your oil. So all you need to do is remove your oil cap. And if you notice a milky residue, kind of looks like it just means that the coolant has mixed in with your oil. And if you notice that on the cap, then that could be an indicator that your head gasket again has failed. Now then, there is just a couple more things that could indicate that you have a head gasket failure. The first one of which is if you have oil enter your combustion chamber, you will typically see blue smoke coming from your exhaust pipe. And the other is if you have coolant enter your combustion chamber, you'll typically see a white smoke coming from your exhaust pipe. But either of these can also mean that you have another problem. It doesn't necessarily mean that you only have a head gasket failure. And there we have it. That is a rough guide as to what you can expect when you have a head gasket failure and some things that you can do to try and prevent it. Okay then, so I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. I hope it's been informative. If you have learned something today or if you have any questions, of course, please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I will see you all in that next video.